Mrs. Blackburn is why I don't have the formula on your desk. So very, very sorry. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Your math homework, Mr. Miller. And please refrain from patronizing me with my dog ate it or my grandmother passed away. Actually, you see, it's more of a combination thing. The truth is, my grandmother was helping me with my homework. Bless her soul. When my dog Bounced on the kitchen table and ate her. Yep, that's why I don't have my homework. My dog ate my grandmother. <laughs> You're a storyteller, Thomas. Do you know what storytellers do? They tell stories. No. They tell, yes, they tell stories. Now. Why don't you, in your overactive imagination, pay a little visit to Principal Hampton after school? I believe you know the way. I'd like to say something in my defense. Thomas, don't speak. But she's she, she, saying nothing. Attention, students. This is Principal Hampton with a big announcement. Please rise. A very special guest from the White House will be joining us at our fall dance on Friday. Oh, one more thing. Thomas Miller, listen to me carefully. I'll be watching you, so no shenanigans. That is all. You see it? So teachers don't get me. Big deal. I mean, who cares? That's why they're teachers and not rock stars. See, this is why I suggest the less talking thing as a very real option for you. Hello, Drake. What's going on, Mildred? So what's it going to be today? Stuffing me in a locker, shaking down for loose change. Hey, you know what's always fun? Hanging me from the flagpole by my underwear. Why do you give him ideas? Because he's too dumb to think of anything on his own? Did you just call me dumb? See, no comprehension skills whatsoever. You were so finished. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to go. Yeah, let's go. Leave a mark. 
Mark. Who are you? Cliff Randall, new substitute teacher. Not making too good a first impression, though, am I? Uh, Thomas Miller. Kind of depends if you're one of my teachers or not. I can kiss butt with the best of them. Thanks very much. Oh, no, no. Thank you very much. And have a great day. He's not only cute for a teacher, he'd be hot for a rock star. What are you doing, Jackie? You're supposed to be into me. How's that working out for me? That's the nature of our relationship, Jackie. We've talked about it before. So let me understand. I continue to be the only person in the whole entire world who actually listens to you and your outrageous stories. And although I may or may not have actual feelings for you, I patiently wait by the side until you decide what's best for Thomas. I need to explore all my options. I'm your only option. Look around. I don't see any line up here. Madison Kramer. Madison Kramer? It could happen. Hold on, my phone's ringing. Hello? Oh yeah, hold on, he's right here. It's for you. It's Planet Earth. They'd like to know when you're coming back. Everyone knows Drake is taking Madison to the dance, so please don't embarrass yourself anymore. Madison. Please explain you and Drake to me. Well, when I first came to the school, Drake was the first person I met. And truth be told, when he's not being so daft, there's actually something quite charming about him. In any event, Drake was assigned to be my lab partner. And Madison was assigned to be my girl. Drake, you're being daft again. Anyway, Mr. Reese wants us to dissect an animal, and I was telling the little guy, I'm not so sure if I want to be a part of it. All I know is Reese is one weird bird. You guys know all that creepy stuff he keeps in jars? Yep. Reese is definitely a top ten major psycho. Obviously, you guys don't know. Know what? Never mind. I've said too much as it is. Hoffman, let's go. What don't we know, Miller? You see, Reese actually isn't even a science teacher. Here we go. You all know that. My dad has some major White House ties. He told me the details, okay? See, the biology lab is actually a government-funded workstation where Reese is an undercover operative, CIA, IBM, ATM type. Do you want to hear more or not? No. Wait. Yes. Tell me. Don't. Okay, go. He's currently concocting a chemical weapon so deadly that if it comes into contact with any part of your skin, it burns until you're nothing but bones. Did you say nothing but, but bones? bones? I did. If you're fortunate enough to live. He's full of it. We all know Miller never told the truth before. Why should we start believing his crud now? If you think I would joke about this sort of thing, I, I even know where Reese keeps his stuff. Take us to the lab. Show us. Unfortunately, that's kind of impossible as the lab is locked and without the right keys. Let's move, Mildred. Chapman, you joining me? No. I mean, I would, but the scared people out here need a real man to keep them protected. Madison, sorry you don't have a real man. Please accept Drake Chapman as the next best thing. Okay, I'm going in now. If anything happens to me, tell a school newspaper I live one sixth of a full life. You're so disturbed.
he's okay. What? You like him or something? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, Drake. I hope he's okay is really good for... Gosh, he's hot. I'd love to smother him with kisses. He's not out in 30 seconds? He's so done. You have some serious issues, don't you? I want to tell you. Sweet. Squid is so fried. Ah! It's on me! Help! It's burning my throat! Get in the Drake! Ah! He's my neighbor! Help him! I'm not going in there! <laughs> was your neighbor. Look what you've done to me! Help, help, help! Save me! Ah! Uh oh. Boys and girls, this is not a drill. We must evacuate the building immediately. No running. Single file. And if you see flames, walk a little faster, but don't run. Drill, I suggest we get out of the building. Better not be another student shenanigan. I am not in the mood. You make it sound like you wish it was a real fire with real flames. Like I said, Mrs. Miller, I am not about to tolerate another prank, especially from your son. Let's go. Ow! Go! Fight! Fight! I, I don't think I didn't see that! I saw What to do, what to do, what to do. To do. We could forget the whole thing. Forget the whole thing? It was a suggestion. Uh, you seemed unsure, so I offered something. Admittedly, not my best. Mrs. Miller, your child's infractions have not only consumed much of my time and energy, but are now beginning to endanger the student body. Well, with all due respect, besides today, what has he done? I mean, maybe one or two small little incidents. <laughs> Miller file. Oh, are you sure that that's all his? Looks like they nailed you on this one, huh? I plan on admitting to nothing. Yeah. Listen, you're completely covered in grape goop, so that might kind of uh, tie you to the scene there. Circumstantial. You know what, Thomas? You seem like an okay kid. I'll tell you what. You still want to get away with it? I'll trade shirts with you. No, no okay. I'm serious. I that's will do okay. this for you. Thanks anyway. So I know your mom works for Hampton, so she's obviously in there. That must stink. What will stink? Hmm. Having your mom work for the man. Mm, it causes a few annoying complications, that's for sure. Is your dad in there too? Actually, he's touring with Ryan Sheckler. Your dad is Ryan Sheckler's personal coach? Buddy, I would tell the world. So the boy tells exaggerated stories. Big deal. Mrs. Miller, 
when is a story an exaggeration of the truth? And when is that story a bald-faced lie? I don't know. I do. Last year, your son Thomas told a group of students that an anaconda snake had escaped the reptile pavilion at the zoo and found a new home in the school's toilets. The children were so frightened that they refrained from using the facilities for over a week. That's an exaggeration of the truth. No, a lie. The boy tells lies. He's a liar. A liar. Principal Hampton. If you want me to hand in my resignation, if that's what you're angling for, well then, I will leave and I will take Thomas with me, okay? Fine. You win. Principal Hampton, I could fill in. In the, in the interim, Principal Hampton, would you like some coffee, sir? No. Claire, you stay. Thomas stays. Oh. But if Thomas wants to attend Friday's dance and meet the president's daughter, Let's see if we can find a way to start to have Thomas discover the truths in life. I'll accept that as fair. Right now, he's on probation. The next occurrence will result in quick and final termination. We had an agreement. We agreed that you would stop lying and I would stop yelling. You're yelling? Yeah, well, uh, how am I supposed to keep up my end of the bargain when you don't keep up yours? Thomas? Thomas, don't, honey. Really hard. Harder than it needs to be. It's hard being mom and dad, huh? You know, honey, what we're going through as a family is separation. No one said it would be easy, but honey, we can't use it as an excuse for our behavior. Both of us. You're lying in my yelling. Think you could stop? I could try. You? I'll do my best. Deal. I got me. I love you. Where do you think you're going? Go over to Jackie's. Oh, no, you don't, mister. You are grounded, and you are not to leave this house under any circumstances. Thomas. Thomas. What's up, Hoffman? So bored. My dad and brothers are all wrapped up in some late game on TV. My mom. Oh, that's right. I don't have a mom. Hey, you want to hang? I've been sentenced. I believe the judge's exact words were, You're not to leave this house under any circumstance. T and a few. Hey, but I can't leave the house. No worries. Do you ever feel alone? I'd say up until five years ago, yeah. What happened five years ago? I met you, doofus. <laughs> All right. Thomas, do you ever feel like life's random or just predetermined? Jackie, I have no clue. Like, no matter what effort we make to be accepted, we'll still just end up on the roof feeling like a couple of losers. Yeah, you know, the whole popularity thing never made much sense to me. I mean, what makes a kid popular in the first place? Asking the wrong person. I'll tell you what I think makes a kid popular. It's as simple as hanging out with other popular kids. Yeah. Except at the end of the day, there still has to be one kid that's popular all by himself. One kid that everyone else looks up to and wants to call their friend. I would do anything to be that kid. I know you would. Half the time, I don't really understand what I'm feeling inside, but I don't know, just hang up here with you and the dark sky lit up with the stars and the moon. It just seems kind of nice, maybe a little romantic or something. I don't know. 
Yeah. If I had Madison from Kramer up here, she'd be making out with me. It's just, you just don't get it, do you? What? What I do? You're up here with me, and you're talking about another girl. Another girl who, by the way, doesn't have any interest in you whatsoever. Ouch. We have to do something. About what? Just close your eyes. No. Close your eyes or I'll throw you off this roof and I am talking on the driveway, not the grass. Now I'm spooked. For the first time, so am I. I should probably go now. No. It's your roof. I'll go. My seat. Bickleman's in my seat. Sorry, Thomas. No, Bickleman, this is your seat. Sorry, Jackie. Mr. Miller. You have 45 minutes to write the following 1,000 times. I will tell no more lies. Say it for me. It seems like a rather old-fashioned punishment. I'm an old-fashioned gal. Now say it for me. I will tell no more lies. Excellent. Now write it. I will return shortly. I have a hair appointment. The beekeeper?
lot of work for one man. Yeah, I suppose. But I'm sure there are people who wish they had some work to do, huh? Well, I'm sure whoever made this mess would uh, come and apologize if he were here. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I'm Albert. Thomas Miller. Ah, well, then I accept. Accept what? Your apology. You know, uh, Thomas Miller, he left his library card here. And isn't it funny that this Thomas Miller looks exactly like the one who's standing right here? Weird, huh? Busted. <laughs> yeah, busted. Oh, before I forget, Mrs. Blechner, she asked me to check on you, see if you uh, completed your punishment. One thousand times. One thousand? Wow. Wow, this looks more like two thousand. Yeah, well, I wanted to show her how much I've changed. Thomas, I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm sorry? Last chance to explain the stench of toner all over these papers. Guilty, sir. <laughs> now, how does it feel to tell the truth? Weird. Hey, you're not gonna tell on me, are you? Because I'm on a real short, one more strike and you're out leash. Nah, man, this would be our little secret. You've got some major cools for an adult. Well, I hope for your sake, your parents had some major cools, too. Well, actually, you might know my mom. Principal Hampton's assistant, Claire Miller. Yeah, yeah, she's a nice lady. And, uh, and what about your father? I don't really have to worry about my dad. He's actually away a lot. All right, listen up, gentlemen. We're playing in front of a hostile crowd today. If we're going to win this thing, we're going to have to play mistake-free football, and I think we all know what that is, all right? And I'm looking at you, John Velma, to lead us to victory, all right? I'm counting on you, buddy. We're all counting on you. We're going to focus. Hold on, Coach. Can I blitz? Not today. No blitzing today. Thank you, though. Now, listen. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there. We're going to play the best game we've ever played, all right? Now, if they come back with that pass... Coach, why are you not going to let me blitz? We're not going to blitz today, OK? Today, John won't be blitzing, all right? We're going to go with my plan, all right? Here's what we're doing. John, you're going to blitz. Thanks, Coach. Hey, look at that. There's a gift for you. All right, let's get it in here right now. Let's go, guys. Who are we? Jess! Who are we? Jess! Jess! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wow. Your father is the coach of the New York Jets. Yeah. Sometimes he even lets me design some of the defense packages. And me, just a janitor. Well, like I said, it beats not having a job, huh? I'll try and remember that. Oh, Thomas Miller. Keep it real, huh? Yeah. Joe Nemeth? Mine, Chapman. The signed ball from Joe Namath must be worth a few dollars. Ever since I've been in this school, you've taken everything that belongs to me. I've taken nothing of yours. It hardly seems fair. So? So give me back my ball. This one? Come on, my dad gave that to me. Dad? Which dad? The skateboarding dad? Or dad, the Jets coach? Or government dad? Which one, Miller? Which one of your fabulous dads gave this to you? <sighs> you want this? You want it so bad? Well, go get it.
suspects a thing. I'll get her at the dance. Believe me, they'll pay all the money in the world to get her back in one piece. We'll talk later. Come on, I need to talk to you. I was down in the ship basement and I overheard some guy talking about getting some girl and how they'd pay all the money in the world to get her back in one piece and he's going to do it at the dance. Please, Jackie, you got to answer me. Hoffman's is serious. Are you there? Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. We need to talk. Which would be fine. Except for the fact that we're not talking. Jack, this is really, really important. Implying my feelings, we're not. Quiet, class. I have a very important announcement to share with you this morning. Jack, this is really important. Mr. Miller, take your seat. As you know, our honor students entered a national essay competition. Well, with great pleasure, I can tell you our very own Madison Kramer, place first, with her composition titled, Saving the World One Minute at a Time. Thank you. And I really believe it could be done if we just break our lives down into little 60-second intervals. Thank you, Madison. Now, as a reward, our school has been selected for a visit by a very special guest. I've known about this for days, but couldn't tell anyone for security purposes. Tonight, our fall dance will be graced with an appearance by the daughter of the President of the United States of America, Christina Adams. That's right. I'll get her at the dance. The first daughter. And believe me, they'll pay all the money in the world to get her back in one piece. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mr. Miller, go directly to the principal's, to the principal's office. office. Down the hall, to the left, past the library. That's where I'm heading. Congratulations. Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> sir, the president's daughter's in serious danger. Is this another little prank, Miller boy? No, sir. I overheard him talking on his phone. I'll type up my resignation. No, that won't be necessary, Mrs. Miller. Thomas, after all we've gone through, I trust you're wise enough to know the serious consequences you may face in the wake of such a heinous lie. And therefore, I'm inclined to believe you. Awesome. Mrs. Miller. Sir? Meet me by the bear, please. I want you to call this man immediately. Dr. Nussbaum? A gifted child psychologist specializes in delusional behavior. You think my son is delusional? A little, yes. After Dr. Nussbaum gives his diagnosis, he'll recommend an appropriate school. But you can stay. You're very good. First of all, Thomas is right here in the room. Thomas also has very good hearing. And the only thing delusional about Thomas is him thinking he could trust you with the truth, Principal Hampton. Ironic. You're a principal, but yet you have no principles. Psst. Mr. Randall. Can we talk? Sure. What's going on? It's an old story. And I really should know what to do because it's such an old story. Let me guess. Is this the one where someone knows something that nobody else knows? And that someone isn't sure if they should tell someone or not? You're good. So? What's the person know? Well, let's just say it's... It's a matter of life and death. 
How'd you know? Well, like you said, such an old story. Look, someone's in danger. Real, real danger. Hold that thought, Thomas. Hello? Yeah. Great. Well, that's what I'm here for. Look, I'm gonna have to call you back. What are you saying about someone being in danger? What? I didn't say that. Why would I say that? I would never say that. Thomas. See ya. Albert. Albert? The other janitor. The cool one. Friday. Albert has Friday off. When will I be back? Monday. Oh, of course. Monday. Thank you. Albert, you are here. Great. Of course I'm here. What's going on, little man? So, would you say what we have is a solid friendship? Well, we, we only met once. Well, after one meeting. Can you see where this is going to go? Like BFF? BFF. Come again? Best friends forever. All right, that's good. Give me some love, little man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, BFF. What do we do now? We talk. And I believe I can share anything and everything with you. You know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Me too. So here it is. Somebody's planning to kidnap the president's daughter right here at our dance. <laughs> Come on, Thomas. Do you realize what you're saying? Yeah, I do. All right, well, tell me what you know. Well, that's all I know. Uh -huh. Bus is leaving. Got a flight. Hey, wait! We all know the magnitude of tonight. An event unlike anything that has ever been held in our school. Your mission comes down to this. Keep order, keep your children safe, and I can't stress this enough. Keep the president's daughter even safer. No pressure. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Mrs. Miller, could you stay behind, please? Sir? Mr. Bailey and I have spoken at length and feel perhaps it's best if Thomas stayed away from tonight's festivities. I'm afraid that's not an option. You know what the stakes are, Miller. Miller. Mrs. Miller, there's going to be a lot of news coverage. I just want everything to come off rosy and peachy. Let's face it, Principal Hampton. What you're really concerned about is that you come off rosy and peachy. Mrs. Miller. Thomas will not be attending tonight's dance, and there's no choice in the matter. You going to answer the phone? Sir, are you going to answer that? Sir. Mom, you got to believe me. The president's daughter is really going to be abducted. It's not a story. I'm telling the truth. These stories are a way for you to get attention, and, and just so that you don't have to feel all alone, right? You need to know that you're not alone. I'm here, and your daddy's out there waiting for you to reach out to him, OK?
You expecting someone? Not exactly the most popular person, so that'd be a big honkin' no. And it's not unusual for any member of the first family to travel with upwards of ten undercover security She's personnel. gonna need every single one of them. Thomas, come in here, please. What'd I do now? Oh, you forgot your book bag at school. Sorry. Luckily, someone was nice enough to bring it for you. Thomas? Buddy? Mr. Handel, you, you don't... You don't have to be here, really. You don't. After our little conversation, I knew you had something on your mind. No wonder you left this behind. Thank you, sir. You can turn yourself in now. Excuse me? I, I meant... You can turn around and go now. Thank you. Thomas. I am so sorry for his rudeness. Would you like something cold to drink? Yeah, sure. A little jumpy, Thomas. And you don't seem thirsty, so why are you still here? All right, you got me. I'm not really thirsty. The truth is, I wanted to be alone with you. You're the bad guy, aren't you? If wanting to ask you some questions makes me a bad guy, then, yeah. Look, forget our talk. I know nothing. Up here, empty. Nothing but storage space. Have you been to Principal Hampton's office lately? Now, that is an unfair question. I'm always in Principal Hampton's office. And have you noticed anything unusual, anything out of the ordinary? Excuse me. And center. But in this day and age, what is Here you go. Cold drinks. Thank you. Promise? No, thanks. I'm not the type to pretend I'm thirsty. I'm all about the truth, and I'll find it. Thomas! Just remember, things aren't always as they appear. Mom, be careful. Very, very careful. Fido, come on. Yo, dog, how do I look? With you. Yeah, you too. Well, I gotta head home and shower. Somehow I got roped into chaperoning tonight. Whatever you do, don't bark. Because everyone knows I don't bark. And if you bark and she comes in, she'll know. All right. You know, Thomas really isn't a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, no, I know he isn't. Just uh, do me a favor and, you know, keep him in his room. For his own sake. Trust me, you won't be seeing Thomas anytime soon. Good. Hello? <laughs> Do things ever go as planned? Yeah, because we're dealing with kids. And inevitably, when you're dealing with kids, things don't go as planned.
I'm sorry for everything that's been going on lately. your message is everything all right with thomas well you know thomas is going through a hard time you know us and he's not dealing with it very well he's exaggerating and his school wants him at home and i think he's somewhere around here and we have to find him well, look you think he's ready to talk to me or not he's 12 we're his parents and whether or not we're together we have to do whatever it takes to get him wherever he needs to go but that's home okay okay you got it Dad's a trash man. No wonder he makes up stories. Popman! Jackie! Listen, someone's gonna try and hurt the president's daughter. I think I know who it is. Randall, the new guy. You've gotta believe me. Why should I? You're my best friend, Jackie. You always tell your best friend the truth. So why Madison Kramer, huh, best friend? Why are you, like, obsessed with this random girl who you know nothing about? I kind of like the way she... how she talks. Is that it, Thomas? Do you like the way I speak? Jackie! Do you find me charming, Thomas? Do you? Jackie, stop it! Look. I have no idea why Madison Kramer. The only thing I can think of is maybe it is predetermined. Yeah. And one more thing. I just want to say sorry for every time I've hurt you. And I want to say sorry in advance for every time I might hurt you. Plan on hurting me again? I would never plan on it. So, say this whole president's daughter thing is, like, true. What now? I go to the dance and I save a life. And what do you want from me? Jackie, you're the one person in the world that I know always has my back. The one person who knows you're telling the truth. Pretty much, yeah. about saving one's life when no one really believes you. I have no idea. No weapons, no special gadgets, secret powers, no ideas. This could be quite a challenge. I like challenges. Next. Sorry, Mila. You're not on the list. What list? There's no list. This is a school dance, it's not a nightclub. Miller. It's not gonna happen, Miller. Understand this, Mr. Miller. You are to leave the premises immediately. Both of you, Miss Graham. What's going on, Miller? Who's your friend? And maybe he'd like to play football for us this fall. Comedy never stops with you, Chapman. Hey. What are you doing, Staff Jake? Toss in my wrapper. What does it look like? Just toss it anywhere. Rudy's dad will get to it. 
Right, Miller? What's your dad the trash man? Just pick it up for us. Who said my dad's a trash man, jerk? What'd you call me? Jerk. That's what I called you. I called you a jerk. What are you gonna do about it? What am I gonna do? That was the question. What am I gonna do? I keep asking you because you'll never tell me. I I'll do something. But I don't have to tell you. Is that what you're gonna do, huh, tough guy? You are so dead! Just another piece of trash for his dad to pick up. Uh, Thomas Miller, are you all right? I think his arm's broken or okay, something. Okay, okay, I'm only gonna take a look. Let me take a look. Uh, uh, I don't think it's broken, but we gotta get you to the nurse's office, get some ice on it, let her take a closer look. Come on. Oh, that should help. Albert, I'm gonna tell you one more time what's going on tonight. Maybe if it comes from you, people will believe. All right. What, Thomas? What's going on tonight? The president's daughter's in serious danger. You mentioned that earlier today. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh... He's here in the nurse's office. Jackie, we need to get out of here right now. Wait a minute. Please don't take this personally, but we need to get out of here. You're not going anywhere, Thomas. We can't have you running around telling a bunch of foolish stories. But that's all they are, right? Right. Stories. Just a bunch of stories. You know more. I know you know more. Maybe I do know more, Frank. Okay. All right, now that some of the truth is starting to come out, it is extremely important that you tell me exactly what you know about our visitor tonight. All right. Here's more of the truth as I see. I know about your plans to kidnap the president's daughter. And I know that one thing's for sure. I'm going to stop you. Thomas! 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 What are you doing? Fantastic story. Who would I tell? I mean, who's gonna actually believe Thomas Miller? It all depends on how it ends. Yeah. I wonder how it actually will end. Miller! <laughs> I'll tell you how it ends, Miller. It ends bad for you, Miller. <clears throat> Sorry, Miller. Wrong hand. Come on, I got ah!
like you were shot at Bailey. I mean, is it always a guy with a fake hand? Oh, you give me too much credit, Miller. I'm just following orders, Miller. Blame it on me, Miller boy. Hampton, the evil principal. Of course. I told your mother to keep you away tonight, but no, here you are. I, however, refuse to let you pull focus from what tonight is all about. And what is tonight all about? That remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure, it's not about Thomas Miller. Sir? Keep the Miller boy and his little lady friend locked up and away from me and the president's daughter. My pleasure, sir. You're all mine, Mildred. tonight's event. It sure beats your lackluster effort in last month's sad, sad cookie dough drive. And now, join me in welcoming America's favorite daughter, Christina Adams. I run this school. It's all right. I'll need to see some ID. Hey. Ah. Great. You've got to help us. You have no idea what's going down. Hampton, Bailey, and Randall, the new teacher, they're all in on it. They're all about to execute a kidnapping of Christina. Oh, okay. He's telling the truth, Drake. Listen to me, Bert and Ernie. My job is to keep you two from getting in the way of tonight. And ain't nothing gonna stop me from that. Fine, do what you have to do. Hopefully you won't get too far with her. You won't get very far with who? Not important. Tell me, Squid, tell me now. Well, the whole school knows that Bickleman is hot for Madison. Mm -hmm. Apparently tonight, he makes his move. Yeah. Bickleman? Tuba playing Bickleman? He's a love machine. Everyone knows in the band world, chicks dig the tuba guy. Come in. Jake's dig the tuba guy? Believe me, I don't know how I come up with half this stuff. We don't have much time. Kidding me. Got it. Come on, Jackie. Principal said you're watching the Miller boy. Where is he? I have to tell you. What? Storage room, gym basement. 
Where's Bitcoin? Tuba player? Who cares? Sorry I dragged you into this mess, Jackie. <sighs> Come on, Miller. Everyone knows you don't leave your best friend hanging. Bye, guys. This way. Right down this way. Yeah, I told you I'd get on the train. I got on. I knew it. Oh, great. Then I had to wear white. Since when did you start to care about that sort of thing? Hey, I'm still a girl. Right in here. I got trapped like two little rats. The kid's gone. Oh, man. They were right here. How big an idiot are you? Oh. We must find Thomas Miller. We must find Thomas Miller? Look who's popular now. Yeah, try upstairs. They're, 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 they're probably upstairs. I thought they were upstairs. <laughs> Kid, why must there always be one? One who's never smart enough to stay out of the way? Why is that, I ask? Well, I guess if you stay out of the way, you don't have much of a story to tell. Aren't, aren't you gonna get that? No, it's not mine. You could never get away with this. This school is like crawling with cops and secret service. And all we have to do is scream. Scream really loud. Ah! Okay, we're done screaming now, sir. That would be wise. Wise because the next sound you make might be the last sound you make. Oh, that's mine. Grissom. Get the copter on the roof in 10 minutes. No, we will get away with this. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with me. <laughs> please don't hurt us! Whatever you do, please! Get off me! Spare us! Sit down. Get on the ground. And here's what's gonna happen. You two are gonna sit here, and you're gonna count to 7,430. Then when you're done, then you can move. It's gonna be fun. Now start counting. One, two, three. Thomas, was it okay to be scared? Yeah, Jackie. It's okay to be scared. Remember, immediately following the dance, there'll be a photo opportunity with myself and the president's daughter. And now, please, oh. welcome to the Madison Kramer. Swim, Bickleman. Swim. On behalf of all the students here at West Park Middle, I'd like to welcome you and say thank you for visiting our little school, where until now it seems like nothing exciting ever happens. And I'd like to thank you for writing such a wonderful essay. Thank you. And it is so true. If we just break our lives down into little bitty 60 second intervals, then. Thank you. Thank you, Madison. I'd like to say what a pleasure it is to represent the White House in sharing your fall dance. West Park Middle School rocks! Ow! Ow! Thomas, who put you in here? I don't know what I should and shouldn't say because I really don't know who's good and who's bad. Miller! Miller, you're coming with me, Miller. Whoa, no, 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 no. I don't think so. He stays. See, exactly. I don't know who's good and who's bad. Frank Marquis, Secret Service. Whoa. 
Oh, Secret Service? You really are a good guy. Look, Thomas, whenever the president or one of the first family make an appearance, we go undercover. Usually nothing happens. We should have believed you, Thomas. I guess I don't have much credibility, huh? Yeah, you do have quite a reputation. You found him. Yeah. You're with Secret Service, too? Uh-huh. Sure beats mopping floors. Thomas, it's not what you do that defines you. It's who you are. You should remember that. Al, I would have called you, but I can't find my cell phone. I thought I left it in here. Well, we got to find this guy. Wait, the bad guy. I think I know how I can find him. Come on, follow me. We don't have much time. Thomas Miller. certainly will get away with this. I must have applied over 20 times for a job with you guys. I never made it past the psychological profiling. Big surprise. If I can't work for you, you can bet I'll work just fine against you. What are your demands? Excuse me? You must have a list of demands for Christina's safe release. What are they? Oh, uh, yeah. Demands. No, no, I, I've got them. But I don't really have to tell you. Let's go. Christina! Ah! Oh. Let go of me! Where do you think you're going? What do you think? Save Christina. All right, look, Thomas, you've done more than enough, and we thank you. We'll let the professionals take it from here, okay? Let's go, kid. Ah! Ah! Are uh, you all right? Why don't you start worrying about Christina instead of me? I got the kid out. I'm on my way. 
my way to the roof. Where are you going? I need to get inside. Christine, I need lockdown help. mode. No one in or out. Thanks. Hey! Mystic little girl, aren't you? Excuse me? Oh, you! Have you seen Thomas anywhere? Sir, we've got a new problem. The redhead's making his way at the roof. All right, Serrano Malloy, you're with me. Let's go. ready for boarding. Here's your new friend, Mr. Gunn. You be nice to him, and he'll be nice to you. Sound fair? Uh-huh. Let's go. Who are you? Thomas Miller. I'm here to save you. Great. You don't want to make your new best buddy angry, do you? You know, I have school tomorrow. Uh-huh. Get in. You too, Presidential Princess. Come on, Turk. Let's move now. Come on. Let's go. It's going to be OK. Come on, Turk. Let's get this thing in the air. Albert! Everyone wants to be a hero. Hang on! Oh, 
to the top, buddy. You can do this. You got it. What do we do? We just... enjoyed his patriotic and, and amusing shenanigans, wouldn't you say, Mr. Bailey? Oh, love the Miller kid! Love the Miller kid! Thank you very much. Hey, Atta boy, Thomas, you are on fire, my little man. Give me some love. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without someone's help. Mr. Angel, Albert, I want you to meet one really amazing man. My dad. Dad! Hey, how you doing? Everybody? This is my dad. <laughs> hey, how are you? You're right, Albert. It's not what you do that defines you. It's who you are. You got that right. Hey, Thomas. Good job. Hey. Awesome performance. Thanks. That's because you had my back, Hoffman. Always. So, wanna go get some ice cream? Hi, Thomas. Hi. I was wondering if you could walk me home, Thomas. Um, actually, I uh, came with Jackie and... He'd love to. Wait, what? What are you doing? Your night's far from over. You saved a life. What about the girl? You still have to get the girl. But I came with you.
Where's Madison? I dropped her off at home. Great. She told me that there was another dance tomorrow mm -hmm. and came to tell me that you're going to take her? No. Actually, it's not too late. I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. I don't get it. What about the girl? She's right here. Maybe I'll leave more dress for you. <laughs> And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce our very special guests, honoring our great hero, Thomas Miller. Cockapoo. <laughs> <laughs> 